Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Ethan Schmidt with Devil's Digest, and I'm here with ASU Junior Ford, Dominic Garcia, and he's going to show me what it's like to take the ice right here at Oceanside Ice Arena. You know, being from Vegas, what's it like to be able to play college hockey this close to home? Uh, it's great. I mean, um, it was never something I imagined I'd be able to do when I first started playing hockey. Uh, everything seemed to be out east or in the Midwest. Um, but once I got to juniors and then once uh, Power started the program here, I immediately texted my mom and uh, it was something huge for us just because they haven't been able to see us or see me play very much through my years in high school and then in the juniors. So to be close to home, have my dad and my mom here every weekend, it's great. So you say your family is able to come down for almost every home series, right? Yeah, yeah, they're here. I don't think they'll, they usually miss at most one throughout the season if they're at home, so. Well, Dom, I know it's November and it's Salute to Service Month, and your family has a big military background. Just what does this month mean to you, and, and, and how do you honor veterans? I mean, it's, it's a huge deal, obviously, like you said. Um, being that my family has a big military background, I think uh, I just, I'm able to appreciate it a lot more being firsthand, even the details, um, just having a routine, a set schedule, doing things the right way the first time. Um, work hard. I think all that translates and I've been very fortunate. Um, in regards to everyone else, I think it just brings more publicity, more attention to it. I mean, um, these guys are doing way more than the average human is doing and they're serving our country. So it's obviously important um, and I think any recognition uh, they get, they deserve. So. When, whenever you get a breakaway opportunity, what's kind of your go-to move to try to beat the goalie? <laughs> I don't really get breakaways um, <laughs> ever, but I mean, I'd probably just try and keep it simple. Um, I don't have the skill set that some of the other guys do, so I'll probably just try and go and I look up and if there's something open, I'll try and put it there. But uh, I mean, the only time I seem to get breakaways are in my dreams or on video games, so uh, I couldn't tell you. Well. Uh, I guess not necessarily a goal scorer as you're saying, but, but you are a bruiser out there. So show me kind of, what's your technique when you go in for those big hits? Um, usually I'm just, I'm smaller um, than a lot of guys. So I think they come in underestimating my size, but um, I have good weight, I'm pretty thick. So I'll usually try and get some leverage on them, just get completely under them. If they go higher, I'm trying to go lower and just use my legs and just, I throw, all 200 pounds I have into All every in hit. Hips. Yeah, I'm just throwing my weight around basically. So, um, I mean, I like I like the physicality and it ends up creating room um, and tiring out their D for our guys like Johnny who, who like to have space to make plays and things like that. It creates space for us, but um, definitely helps our other lines too, so. Being a junior in this program and being on the forefront, uh, what is what is it meant for you to be honored with uh, being an alternate captain and kind of being um, one of the the leaders here for ASU. Um, I mean, it's I mean, it means a lot. Um, it's a huge honor, but at the end of the day, they, I mean, we bring the we're bringing the right people in. Um, they're all people that guys want to be around. Um, so everyone in here is a leader in their own way. I mean, we got Sandy skating by right now. Como, I mean, those are two sophomores, but they they have a big voice in the locker room. Um, so everyone kind of chips in. Everyone pulls their way. Everyone speaks up when the time's right. Um, so it's been good, it makes my job easy. Um, I, I couldn't be happier uh, with the group we have, so. You guys have the mantra, be the tradition. What does that mean to you personally? Be the tradition is just, um, just someone that the other people respect, someone that works hard, someone that does the right things when no one's looking. Um, not just on the ice, in the classroom, away from the classroom, at home, with your family, with friends. Um, just in everything you do, give 110% and do it the right way. For every game, you have kind of that pregame ritual where you jump into the guys. Just so how did that come about, and, and um, uh, what led you to do that with the guys before the game? It kind of started my freshman year. Um, we would hit, I would hit Crow a little bit in the corners, and then uh, once we got out here, we're usually on the same side. So kind of just one thing led to another. We bumped each other one time, got a little chuckle out of it, and now it's just something that me and Sandy love doing. Um, we're really the only ones that really get into it, but um, that's enough for me, and uh, I know it's enough for him, so. Do you care if we try? Uh, yeah, if you want. <laughs> I'll try. So, so it's all shoulder, right? It's all shoulder. All right. Which side so, do you want? So we just go right? Yeah. Do you want, like, 
Just all right. Show me what you got. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Good balance. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, um, growing up, did you have any players that you looked up to, any NHLers that that made you want to follow your dreams to play hockey at this level? Um, I don't know. When I, when I was younger, um, I wasn't too into. I mean, I watched call, or like NHL hockey but I was the first one in my family to start playing, so I didn't really know a lot about it. So I would watch just to watch and know the game. Um, I think as I started, I always, originally when I was young, Minnesota was a huge powerhouse. So I grew up and I liked uh, Kyle Poso a lot. So being, he was African-American too. Um, exactly. I was able to watch him and really like learn to love the game even more through him. So he's helped a lot. Um, I mean, now I don't, NHL players, I enjoy watching. It would be like Tom Wilson. Um, Miles Wood off New Jersey, just guys that have a scoring touch, but they they create so much space. They're physical. They're good teammates. So um, those are definitely a couple of guys that I just enjoy watching now, just because they I fit more of their style of play. UNLV has called you to to come in their locker room sometimes and read off the starters. Yeah. And I know you do that for ASU and uh, to get everybody fired up in the locker room. But what does it mean uh, for UNLV to, to call it upon you at being a Las Vegas native to do something? It's awesome. Like that? I mean, um, I'm, I'm, I have a good relationship with the staff there. Um, like Nick Raboni personally, he was my, one of my first coaches ever when I started playing roller hockey. Um, so it's nice that, I mean, they keep tra tabs on me while I'm out here and I'm doing the same thing. I know they're at U of A right now. Um, so it's just a good relationship. And I mean, they're doing something in Vegas that's unbelievable. They're growing the game. Um, and that's something I know anyone in my age group and older growing up wish they had. So, um, I mean, I wish them the best. Did you ever think that it was possible to play division one college hockey here at Arizona State? No, um, definitely not. Uh, I always thought if I would make if I make it this far, it definitely uh, I'd end up out east for sure. Um, I've been gone. I think I've been gone from home since my sophomore year of high school. So I mean, I spent my years there in the Midwest, and then ended up in Philly. So I definitely thought I'd get I'd have to get used to the cold. I actually sold all my uh, winter clothes leaving high school thinking I was going to Texas for juniors. Wow. And then they ended up moving to Philly. So <laughs> uh, I got lucky, uh, definitely lucky being here and being able to play here. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Ethan Schmidt with Devil's Digest. This is Dom Garcia. Dom, thank you so much for being a good sport today no and joining us out here on the ice. No problem.